This is Tumpak Suwu, one of the natural wonders of the world, considered one of the most beautiful and unique places in Indonesia. A waterfall with numerous streams set in the middle of a tropical rainforest on the island of Java. In the background, you can see Mount Semeru, which is the highest peak on the island of Java and one of the most active volcanoes in this region. The last part of the journey to get here involves a hike through trails with a steep incline, which can be challenging for some people. But the effort is well worth it for the incredible view that awaits. Next, I will show you other natural wonders across the Earth from different countries and all continents. Some of them you may be familiar with, but others are still relatively unknown and seldom visited. Lencois Maranhenses National Park, Brazil. An extraordinary and unique landscape of white sand and freshwater lagoons unfolds before your eyes, evoking the image of undulating sheets. It may appear to be a desert, but the region has a tropical climate and receives much more rainfall than typical deserts. Between January and June, heavy rains fill the depressions between the sand dunes, forming freshwater lagoons of various colors, such as blue, green, and turquoise. Despite high temperatures and evaporation, the lagoons do not completely dry out during the dry season, as they are fed by underground rivers, ensuring that there is always water in some of them, even in the driest months. Dolomites Italy. This majestic mountain range is located in northern Italy and is primarily composed of dolomite, a type of sedimentary rock that gives it its characteristic pale color and stunning cliffs and vertical peaks. These rock formations were created millions of years ago from ancient coral reefs and other marine organisms when the area was covered by the sea. This area has been inhabited for thousands of years and has been influenced by various cultures over time, including the Celts, Romans, and Germanic peoples. Today, the local population is largely composed of speakers of Italian, German, and Ladin, a Reto Romance language that is unique to the area. Iguazu Falls, border of Brazil and Argentina. They are a set of waterfalls located on the border between Argentina and Brazil, on the Iguazu River. Of all of them, the most astonishing waterfall is the Devil's Throat, the tallest and shaped like a U. There is an abundance of biodiversity around these falls due to their location in the heart of the subtropical rainforest over 2,000 plant species, around 400 bird species such as the toucan and the swift, and numerous mammals, reptiles, and fish. It is also the habitat of some endangered species such as the jaguar and the giant anteater. They are not the tallest or widest waterfalls in the world, but they are considered the largest due to the combination of their height, width, and water flow. The water flow can increase dramatically during the rainy season. Great Blue Hole, Belize. It is a circular underwater sinkhole with an intense dark blue color due to its great depth compared to the clearer and shallower waters surrounding it. It is a system of underwater caves that formed during the last ice age, approximately 12,000 years ago, at which time the sea level was much lower and the sinkhole was a limestone cave on dry land. Divers from all over the world come here as it offers a unique underwater cave diving experience and the opportunity to observe a wide variety of marine life such as reef sharks, nurse sharks, sea turtles, and tropical fish. Angel Falls, Venezuela. This is the highest uninterrupted waterfall in the world.
Traveling here is not easy. It is an isolated area with dense jungle, and it is difficult to reach by plane due to the numerous mountains. It is located in Kanaima National Park, which is one of the largest national parks in the world, and the second largest in Venezuela. Here you will find savannas, jungles, rushing rivers, and tepuis, which are sandstone plateaus with vertical walls and flat tops from the Precambrian era, aged between 2 billion to 4 billion years. Aoyan Tepui, which is the Tepui where Angel Falls is located, has a surface area that is comparable to that of Singapore and is larger than that of Andorra. Mount Roraima, Venezuela. Boasting an unmatched height, this Tepui captivates the imagination as the most enthralling and mysterious of its kind characterized by a flat-topped mountain that is singular in the world. It is located between Venezuela, Brazil, and Guiana, although the majority of it is in Venezuelan territory, and ascents are usually made from the Venezuelan side. One theory is that it was created by an earthquake, but this is uncertain since mountains created this way do not usually have this shape. At the top of the mountain, species of plants and animals adapted to this extreme environment reside, such as carnivorous plants, orchids, ferns, frogs, and butterflies. An interesting fact is that Mount Roraima served as inspiration for the novel The Lost World by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, published in 1912. The story follows a group of explorers who discover a remote plateau in South America where prehistoric species still survive. Lisefjord, Norway. With towering rock walls that are dramatically carved by ancient glaciers, this fjord presents an awe-inspiring and imposing natural spectacle. It is located in the North Sea and originated in the Ice Age. The area is so inhospitable that there are only two villages at its two ends. In the Lisefjord area, you can visit Prekestolen, a flat, rocky platform that offers wonderful views of the surrounding fjord and the mountains. Nearby, there is Kjerag Bolten, a massive boulder wedged between two cliff walls. For the more daring individuals, climbing onto it provides an exhilarating view and the chance to capture unforgettable photos. Sequoia National Park, United States. This national park protects an extensive forest of giant sequoias, some of the largest and most massive trees in the world. Some of the sequoias in the park are over 3,000 years old, making them living witnesses to Earth's history. This national park is home to the General Sherman tree which holds the record for being the largest tree in the world in terms of volume. Sumidero Canyon, Mexico. Nestled in Chiapas in the southwestern part of Mexico, it is a breathtaking natural wonder that owes its existence to the relentless erosion caused by the Grijalva River. If you are a professional movie director or an enthusiast, this place is a prime candidate for filming an adventure movie in the style of Jurassic Park. The surrounding jungle is home to spider monkeys, anteaters, jaguars, iguanas, and dozens of bird species, while crocodiles inhabit the river. Arctic, located at the northernmost point of the planet, it is a natural beauty despite being frozen and filled with glaciers and snow. It is home to polar bears, walruses, reindeer, and marine animals such as belugas, narwhals, or the blue whale. The Arctic includes parts of Russia, Canada, Greenland, Alaska, Norway, Sweden, Finland, and Iceland. Here lies a significant portion of the planet's fresh water. And despite its extreme temperatures, it is home to millions of people. 
In this region of the planet, you can see incredible icebergs that break off from glaciers and venture into the ocean. There are vast terrains covered with snow where you can practice dog sledding. This activity, also known as mushing, has been a traditional means of transport in Arctic and subarctic regions for centuries. You can also witness one of the most beautiful natural phenomena, the northern lights, especially on winter nights. Amazon rainforest and river, South America, Often referred to as the lungs of the planet, it is the most extensive and biodiverse tropical rainforest in the world, spanning across nine countries, Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Venezuela, Ecuador, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. It is estimated that the Amazon rainforest is responsible for generating about 20% of the planet's oxygen, and stores millions of tons of carbon. Approximately 10% of the known species on Earth inhabit the Amazon. More than 40,000 plant species, 16,000 tree species, 1,300 bird species, 3,000 fish species, 430 mammal species, and more than 2.5 million insect species. Some of the most admirable animals that inhabit the rainforest are the jaguar, the green anaconda, sloths, and tapirs. The Amazon River is the central axis of the rainforest and the longest river in the world, originating in the Andes mountain range in Peru and emptying into the northeast coast of Brazil. Some of the fish that live in the river are piranhas, the arapaima, or the electric eel but marine mammals also inhabit it, such as the manatee and the pink dolphin. Zhang Jiajie National Forest Park, China In southern China, this protected area contains over 3,000 sandstone and quartz pillars that emerge from the valley floor covered in vegetation. These geological formations have been a source of inspiration for artists and filmmakers. In fact, it is said that the floating mountains in James Cameron's movie Avatar are based on the landscapes of Zhang Jiajie. The park also features the Zhang Jiajie Glass Bridge, the world's longest and tallest pedestrian glass bridge, which offers panoramic views of the park from a great height. Jasper National Park, Canada This is the largest national park in the Canadian Rocky Mountains and is home to moose, black and grizzly bears, caribou, wolves, and mountain goats, making it an ideal place for wildlife observation. One of the most notable places is the Columbia Ice Field, an ice field that feeds several glaciers in the region, where you can visit the Athabasca Glacier, one of the most accessible glaciers in the ice field. Another standout location is Moline Lake, the largest lake in the park and one of the most photographed in Canada, known for its turquoise blue color and its stunning mountainous surroundings. Golfoss Waterfall, Iceland. It is part of the famous Golden Circle, an area in Iceland with some of the country's most visited sites. Golfoss actually comprises two separate waterfalls, one above the other. The water originates from the Langjökull Glacier and at its zenith, the Vita River has the capacity to carry an immense volume of water every second. Depending on the angle from which you observe, it may appear that the waterfall vanishes into the earth or that it falls into a deep abyss, which is due to the way the two waterfalls meet at right angles. Great Barrier Reef, Australia. This is the world's largest coral reef and is one of the most valuable marine ecosystems on our planet. Located in the Coral Sea, off the northeastern coast of Australia. This ecosystem spans an expanse so vast that its sheer magnitude renders it visible from space. It is inhabited by thousands of species, including over 1,500 species of fish, around 600 species of hard corals, over 100 species of jellyfish, 30 species of whales and dolphins, 6 species of sea turtles, 
and over 5,000 species of mollusks, and a large number of seabirds. Mount Everest, Nepal-China border. This is the highest mountain in the world. Located in the Himalayas on the border between Nepal and the Tibet Autonomous Region in China. It was named Mount Everest in honor of Sir George Everest, a Welsh photographer who was the Surveyor General of British India in the 19th century. However, in Nepal, it is known as Sagarmatha, which means forehead in the sky, and in Tibet as Chomolungma or Komolangma, which means mother of the universe. The first successful ascent of Everest was accomplished on May 29, 1953, by New Zealander Sir Edmund Hillary and Nepali Sherpa Tenzing Norgai. Since then, thousands of people have reached the summit, but there have also been numerous tragedies and loss of lives in ascent attempts. Climbing is extremely dangerous due to the extreme and changing conditions, such as snowstorms, avalanches, crevasses, and the lack of oxygen at high altitude. Additionally, climbing is expensive and requires government permits, specialized equipment, and logistical support. Sahara Desert, North Africa. This desert holds the title for being the world's largest hot desert, enveloping an area so immense that it rivals the size of the United States or China. Its sprawling sands stretch across Algeria, Chad, Egypt, Libya, Mali, Mauritania, Morocco, Niger, Western Sahara, Sudan, and Tunisia. The climate of the Sahara is extremely arid and hot. However, temperatures can drop dramatically at night due to the low humidity and the lack of clouds to retain the heat. Despite these arid and hot conditions, animals also inhabit the Sahara, such as the fennec fox, the desert cat, the dromedary camel, the dung beetle, the spiny-tailed lizard, and various reptiles and birds. There are also plants adapted to life in the desert, such as acacias and cacti. Redwood National Park, United States. It is located in Northern California and is home to some of the tallest and oldest trees in the world, the redwoods, which can live up to 2,000 years. The park is also inhabited by animals such as beavers, black bears, river otters, and cougars. The largest mammal that can be observed here is the Roosevelt elk. But the star of the park is Hyperion, the tallest tree on the planet standing at a towering height of 380 feet or 115 meters. It was discovered in 2006, surpassing the stratosphere giant, which is also located in this national park. Ha Long Bay, Vietnam. This is an area in northern Vietnam with thousands of limestone islets, mangroves, coral reefs, and beaches. Ha Long means descending dragon in Vietnamese, According to local legend, it was created when a dragon descended to the bay and carved these rocky formations with its tail while protecting Vietnam from foreign invaders. Many of its islands and islets have limestone caves and grottos, some of which are accessible to visitors. Among these beautiful natural wonders, you can also find several traditional fishing villages that, astonishingly, reside in the middle of the sea. These families, who have been here for several generations, live in floating houses, and their livelihood is fishing and aquaculture. To move between houses and go to local markets, locals use small boats. Salar de Uyuni, Bolivia. This is a salt desert, the largest salt flat in the world, formed thousands of years ago when prehistoric lakes in the region dried up leaving behind a thick layer of salt. This unique landscape looks like a giant mirror when covered with water during the rainy season, reflecting the sky and creating an illusion of infinity. It is a place of great importance for the Bolivian economy, 
as it is a major source of salt and contains one of the largest reserves of lithium in the world. Due to its vast, flat, and highly reflective surface, it is used by satellites to calibrate their instruments and obtain more accurate measurements of the Earth. Antarctica. This is the southernmost continent on our planet. The coldest, driest, and windiest region, almost entirely covered by a layer of ice and snow. Despite its enormous size, there is no permanent population in Antarctica, though there are many scientific research stations from various countries. Among the animal species that inhabit here are the emperor penguin, the Adélie penguin, the Weddell seal, and the crab-eater seal, as well as seabirds like the wandering albatross. In Antarctica, during the southern summer, which runs from October to March, the sun never fully sets and shines 24 hours a day. In contrast, during the southern winter, which runs from April to September, the continent is plunged into darkness and the sun is not seen for months. Lake Baikal, Russia. It is the deepest and oldest lake in the world with an estimated age of 25 million years. Additionally, it is the largest reservoir of fresh water on the planet, holding approximately 20% of the world's unfrozen fresh water. It is also known for its water clarity and quality, which is the result of a small crustacean called Episcura baikalensis. This crustacean feeds on impurities in the water helping to keep it clean and crystal clear. During the summer months, you can go hiking, take boat rides, fish, and scuba dive. During the winter, the lake freezes over, and you can skate on the transparent ice. Galapagos Islands, Ecuador. This archipelago, consisting of 19 main islands and numerous smaller islets, is renowned for its diversity of wildlife both on land and in the sea. It is the result of volcanic activity and is situated in a geologically active region, which has created unique and varied landscapes with mountains, plains, and beaches. Its isolation has led to the evolution of numerous endemic species that are not found anywhere else in the world, such as marine iguanas, which are the only iguanas that have evolved to feed in the ocean, and the Galapagos giant tortoises, which are the largest land tortoises in the world. These islands are located on the equator, meaning they experience warm and tropical weather throughout the year. However, the influence of ocean currents creates two distinct seasons, the warm and wet season from December to May, and the cool and dry season from June to November. Komodo National Park, Indonesia Located in the province of East Nusa Tenggara, within the Lesser Sunda Islands, this protected area of great biodiversity encompasses the three main islands of Komodo, Rinka, and Padar, as well as numerous smaller islands and the surrounding marine areas. It was established with the goal of protecting the Komodo dragon, which is the world's largest lizard and is endemic to the region. Additionally, the reserve provides a habitat for other species such as the Timor deer, wild buffalo, and macaques. It also serves as a diving destination where one can observe reef sharks, rays, turtles, and hundreds of species of fish. Grand Canyon, United States In the state of Arizona lies this gorge that is a geological wonder, primarily formed by the erosion of the Colorado River over millions of years. It is one of the largest and most impressive geological formations in the world. This area has been home to various indigenous cultures for thousands of years. Native Americans, such as the Havasupai and the Hualapai tribes, continue to live here maintaining a cultural and spiritual connection with the land. Hokul Sarlon Lake and Diamond Beach, Iceland. 
It is a glacial lake formed by the retreat of the Breide Marker Jokul Glacier, which is part of the massive Vatna Jokul Glacier, the largest in Europe by volume. What makes it especially interesting is the presence of icebergs that break off from the glacier and float in the lake until they finally melt or are carried out to sea. You can navigate the lake in a boat or amphibious vehicle to get a close look at the icebergs, approach the glacier, or observe the seals that come from the ocean to rest on the icebergs. Next to Yokel Sarlon, across the bridge, is Diamond Beach, with icebergs of various sizes that come from the lake and gradually melt on the sand. Wadi Rum, Jordan, also known as the Valley of the Moon. This is a desert located in southern Jordan with peculiar reddish sandstone and granite rocks. The name Wadi Rum is derived from Arabic with wadi meaning valley and rum referring to elevation or height. This desert valley has been inhabited by various cultures over the centuries, including the Nabataeans, who left behind petroglyphs, inscriptions, and temples on the area's rocks. Parts of the movie Lawrence of Arabia were filmed in Wadi Rum, and due to its unique landscape and resemblance to Mars or other planets, it served as a setting for Dune 2021, The Martian, and Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, Faroe Islands, Denmark. This archipelago consists of 18 islands located in the North Atlantic, between Scotland, Norway, and Iceland. It features dramatic landscapes with cliffs, waterfalls, green mountains, islands, and isolated settlements inhabited by just a few dozen people. Kalsoy is one of the most fascinating islands, narrow and elongated, with steep slopes. It has fewer than 100 inhabitants and is only accessible from Klaxvik by a 20-minute ferry ride with no roads, tunnels, or bridges connecting it to other islands. One of Kalsoy's main attractions is the Kalur Lighthouse, situated at the island's northernmost point. The cliffs of the Faroe Islands are home to numerous species, such as Atlantic puffins, gannets, and guillemots. During the nesting season, these cliffs are teeming with birds and their calls, making it a unique experience for nature lovers. One of the natural spectacles in the Faroe Islands is the Mulafoser Waterfall, located near the village of Gasadalur, where the water cascades directly into the sea. Torres del Paine National Park, Chile. This park is renowned for its towering mountains, glaciers, lakes, and ice fields, with the Torres del Paine as its crowning glory, three imposing granite peaks. The Grey Glacier, which is a part of the southern Patagonian ice field, can also be found in this park. The park is home to animals such as guanacos, foxes, condors, and pumas, among other species. Although the Torres del Paine are the most famous symbol of the area, there are other rock formations, such as the Cuernos del Paine a set of granite and metamorphic mountains with a distinctive appearance due to erosion and the different layers of rock. Cappadocia, Turkey. This is a historical region in central Turkey with an extraordinary landscape of so-called fairy chimneys, rocks that have been shaped over millions of years due to the erosion of volcanic tuff. In addition to its unique geology, Cappadocia is also famous for its underground cities, such as Derinkuyu and Kaimakli, built by various civilizations throughout history as a refuge from invasions and conflicts. One of the most thrilling and popular activities in Cappadocia is hot air ballooning. The town of Gorame is particularly known for its dwellings and hotels carved into rocks and mountains. Big Lagoon, Philippines. This lagoon, part of the Bakuit Archipelago, near the island of Palawan, has a unique appearance as it is surrounded by limestone cliffs and crystal clear sea green waters. In fact, it was the filming location for several scenes in the movie The Beach, which features a paradisiacal beach in Southeast Asia. The lagoon is set within a sort of natural pool, which is accessed through a narrow entrance between cliffs. Once inside, 
The calm and shallow waters allow for an appreciation of the underwater beauty of the place. The waters of the lagoon change color throughout the day due to the position of the sun and the way light reflects on the water. This makes the landscape even more captivating and always different, depending on the time of your visit. Niagara Falls, Canada and United States border There are three waterfalls situated between Lake Erie and Lake Ontario, fed by the Niagara River. The Horseshoe Falls, also known as the Canadian Falls, the American Falls, and the Bridal Veil Falls. Millions of visitors each year come to admire this marvelous natural spectacle. These falls are also a significant source of renewable energy. There are hydroelectric power plants on both the American and Canadian sides that harness the energy of the water to produce electricity. Cenotes of Mexico These are natural freshwater wells primarily found in the Yucatan Peninsula, formed thousands of years ago when the limestone that forms the peninsula began to erode, creating subterranean cavities and water wells. They were of great importance to the ancient Mayan civilization, who considered the cenotes as sacred places and gateways to the underworld, and used them as sources of drinking water as well as for religious ceremonies and offerings. There are thousands of cenotes, but one of the most beautiful ones to observe from the outside, as well as to dive or snorkel in, is the Dos Ojos Cenote, which has two large sinkholes connected by a passageway. Namib Desert, Namibia. It is considered one of the world's oldest deserts, with an estimated age of over 65 million years. It stretches from the Orange River in South Africa to the Kunene River in Angola. Its red sand dunes are some of the tallest in the world. Additionally, the desert exhibits unique geological phenomena, such as the Kuiseb River Canyon which acts as a natural barrier to the advancement of the dunes. Another phenomenon present in this desert is the so-called fairy circles, which are circular areas of bare earth surrounded by vegetation, the formation of which continues to be debated among scientists. Some theories suggest that these circles are caused by the activity of underground termites, while others point to abiotic factors, such as competition for water among plants. Lofoten Islands, Norway. This is an archipelago within the Arctic Circle, with high mountains, deep fjords, white sandy beaches, and crystal clear waters. Despite being at such a high altitude, it has a relatively mild climate thanks to the Gulf Stream. Lofoten is a destination frequented by tourists and photographers who are drawn by its picturesque landscapes and fishing villages. Fishing is a traditional and fundamental activity in the island's economy. In fact, cod is a typical product of the region. These islands are one of the best places in the world to witness one of the most astonishing natural phenomena, the Northern Lights which occur when charged particles from the sun interact with the Earth's atmosphere, creating a display of colorful lights in the sky. If you want to see them, you will need to go in the winter from late September to late March when there are fewer hours of daylight. Serengeti National Park, Tanzania This natural park is home to a large number of species, including Africa's Big Five, elephants, rhinoceroses, buffaloes, lions, and leopards. In addition to giraffes, hippos, zebras, crocodiles, and over 500 species of birds. One of the most astounding natural phenomena in Serengeti National Park and the world is the Great Migration, in which annually millions of wildebeests, zebras, and gazelles migrate in search of fresh pastures and water, risking their lives by crossing rivers teeming with crocodiles. The name Serengeti comes from the Maasai word Siringet, which means the place where the land runs forever. An apt description, since the Serengeti is largely composed of grass plains that stretch as far as the eye can see. Victoria Falls, Zimbabwe and Zambia border. 
These falls are locally known as Mosi Oatunya, which means the smoke that thunders in the Tonga language due to the roar it creates and the cloud of spray that rises from the falling water. The Zambezi River, which feeds the falls, cascades into an awe-inspiring chasm, forging a curtain of water that spans an incredible width and ascends to staggering heights at certain points. Monument Valley, United States. It is a natural park located on the border between Arizona and Utah, part of the Navajo Nation Reservation, fascinating for its unique geological formations such as the so-called mesas and buttes. The three most famous rock formations are West and East Mitten Buttes, both shaped like mittens, and Merrick Butte, also of a similar height. This park is a sacred site for the Navajo, a Native American tribe that has inhabited the region for centuries. Thingvellir National Park, Iceland. This natural park is located on the boundary of the North American and Eurasian tectonic plates, making it a special place where you can see how the Earth is constantly changing. Tectonic activity has created impressive geographical features, fissures, and canyons in the park, and some of them can be explored on foot. Moreover, Thingvellir holds great historical significance for Iceland, as it was here that the first Icelandic parliament, called Albingi, was established in the year 930. It was an open-air parliament, the center of the political and social life of Iceland for centuries. Los Glaciares National Park, Argentina. It is a protected area with sublime glaciers, mountains, and a large number of glacial lakes. Of the latter, the most famous and visited is the Perito Moreno Glacier, one of the few in the world that continues to advance rather than recede. An incredibly thrilling moment that can be witnessed at the Perito Moreno Glacier is the rupture phenomenon which occurs when the glacier's ice collapses into the iceberg channel, forming huge ice blocks that fall into the water with a deafening crash. Etretat Cliffs, France. They are a series of impressive white chalk rock formations located on the coast of Normandy, sculpted by wind and water erosion over millions of years, resulting in striking natural arches and caves they have also been a source of inspiration for artists and writers throughout history. French painter Claude Monet, for example, painted several pieces of art based on the cliffs. In addition, French writer Maurice Leblanc placed some of his character Arsène Lupin's adventures in Etretat, including a novel in which the protagonist discovers a hidden treasure. Raha Ampat, Indonesia this is an archipelago located in the Indonesian province of West Papua, considered one of the most stunning diving destinations in the world due to its pristine coral reefs and the large number of marine species present. It's estimated that around 75% of the world's known coral species are found in the Raja Ampat region, as well as 1,500 species of fish. The name Raha Ampat means four kings in Indonesian, referring to the four main islands of the archipelago, Misul, Salawati, Batanta, and Waiheo, Yosemite National Park, United States. Yosemite hosts mountains, valleys, rivers, and forests, all in one place. It is so large that it seems like a world apart. It is a vast and well-preserved habitat where hundreds of animal and plant species coexist, including the black bear, the coyote, and the mountain beaver. It has five main vegetation zones, the oak woodland region, lower montane vegetation areas, upper montane vegetation zones, subalpine ecosystems, and alpine vegetation areas. Most visitors who come to explore it visit Yosemite Valley, characterized by winter snowfall. Lovatnet Lake, Norway. 
It is a beautiful glacial lake of a greenish-blue color that appears to have a filter caused by rock particles in the water originated from nearby glaciers. It is surrounded by Hostedalsbren National Park, home to Hostedalsbren, the largest glacier on the European mainland. This beautiful landscape contrasts with its tragic past. In 1905 and 1936, rock avalanches fell into the lake water, causing mega tsunamis that destroyed the towns that once sat on the lake shores. Plitvice Lakes National Park, Croatia. The main attraction of this park is its 16 crystal clear lakes, interconnected by a series of waterfalls and cascades. The water of these lakes comes from both surface rivers and underground sources, varying its color from turquoise blue to emerald green, depending on the time of year, the amount of minerals, and the position of the sun. Dead Sea, Jordan, Israel, and Palestine. It is a unique salt lake located between Israel, Jordan, and Palestine in the Middle East region. Its name comes from the fact that, due to its high salinity of 34%, the environment is inhospitable for most forms of life, like fish and aquatic plants. Because of this high salt concentration, the water is much denser than fresh water, which allows people to easily float on the surface. Furthermore, the mud at the bottom of the Dead Sea is rich in minerals and is believed to have healing properties for certain skin diseases, such as psoriasis and eczema. The Dead Sea is the lowest point on Earth's surface. Although it is not conducive to aquatic life, it does contain some life forms, such as bacteria and halophilic microorganisms that have evolved to survive in extremely salty environments. Chocolate Hills, Philippines. This is a collection of over 1,200 cone-shaped hills located on Bohol Island, bearing a resemblance to chocolates. These hills, separated by flat plains and home to numerous caves and springs, are the result of erosion from rain and water currents as well as tectonic processes. One local legend tells the story of a giant named Arogo, who cried bitterly after the death of his human beloved Aluya. The giant's tears fell upon the earth and, over time, became the chocolate hills as we know them today. Appenzell Alps, Switzerland All the Swiss Alps are extraordinarily beautiful, with crystal clear lakes, extreme cleanliness, and pure air. However, the Appenzell Alps stand out for the spectacular nature of their landscapes. They are a mountain range in the northernmost part of the Alps, with lush green meadows and towering mountains which can only be ascended by foot or cable car. Here you can breathe some of the cleanest air in the world thanks to the Swiss renewable energy system and their focus on sustainability. Rhenus Fiara Black Beach, Iceland the most distinctive feature of this beach is the black sand that comes from the erosion of basaltic volcanic rocks in the area. But it is also notable for the Rhenus Drangar sea stacks, or stone trolls. According to legend, these are the petrified trolls that were caught by sunlight while trying to drag boats to shore. Although Rhenus Fiara Beach is a beautiful place to visit, safety is paramount. The ocean currents and waves in this area can be unpredictable and very powerful. So, visitors are advised to keep a safe distance from the water and heed warning signs. In fact, it is considered one of the most dangerous beaches in the world. Cliffs of Moher, Ireland From these large and captivating cliffs, Visitors can observe panoramic views of the Atlantic Ocean and the Aran Islands, as well as Galway Bay on clear days. These cliffs are also an important habitat for numerous species of seabirds, such as puffins, gannets, and seagulls, 
which gather on the cliff ledges to breed and raise their chicks. Antelope Canyon, United States. This striking canyon is famous for its narrow sandstone walls and the way sunlight filters through the narrow openings, creating a unique visual spectacle. It is composed of two separate sections, Upper Antelope Canyon and Lower Antelope Canyon. Both are slot canyons, which means they are deep and narrow with tall, sheer walls. Upper Antelope Canyon is renowned for the beams of light that filter down from the top of the canyon. They are best seen around midday when the sun is directly overhead and during certain months of the year. Lower Antelope Canyon is less visited, narrower, and deeper, and is considered slightly more challenging due to the need to navigate very narrow passages and descend ladders in some areas. Matterhorn, Switzerland. The Matterhorn is an iconic mountain situated in the Alps region, on the border between Switzerland and Italy, with a distinctive and almost symmetrical pyramidal shape. Being an isolated mountain and having great height, it is exposed to rapid weather changes and cloud formation. In fact, it is considered one of the most dangerous mountains in Europe. Although it was first climbed in 1865, it remains a challenge for experienced climbers. One of the best options for observing the Matterhorn is the Cogwheel Trains, one of the highest trains in the world. Tara River Canyon, Montenegro. It is the deepest canyon in Europe and the second deepest in the world after the Grand Canyon, with rapids that are suitable for kayaking and rafting. The bridge crossing the canyon is the Georgievica Tara Bridge, a 1,198-foot concrete arch bridge. When completed in 1940, it was one of the largest and highest arch bridges in the world. Kauai, United States. Known as the Garden Island for its abundant vegetation, it is one of the main islands in the Hawaiian archipelago. One of the most astonishing places on this island, the Na Pali Coast, boasts a chain of towering cliffs and is accessible only on foot, by boat, or by helicopter, as no roads lead to it. In Kauai, there are also white sandy beaches and crystal clear waters, where you can swim, snorkel, and surf. Because of these idyllic landscapes, Kauai has been the setting for some of the most successful movies in history, such as Jurassic Park, King Kong, and Avatar. Avenue of the Baobabs, Madagascar. This is a stretch of road near the city of Morondava, with numerous gigantic baobab trees on both sides of the road. Baobabs are very important in local culture, and are often attributed magical and spiritual properties. Due to their appearance, they are often called upside-down trees because they seem to be planted with their roots upwards and branches buried in the ground. They can grow up to 98 feet or 30 meters in height and live for over a thousand years. Geirangerfjord, Norway. It is a lengthy fjord formed over millions of years due to the action of glaciers, which have carved deep and steep rock walls along the mountains. Within the embrace of this fjord, one finds one of Norway's most celebrated natural wonders, the Seven Sisters Waterfall. Local legend has it that seven streams represent seven sisters who playfully dance next to the fjord. The Suter situated directly opposite the Seven Sisters Waterfall, appears to be courting the sisters from the other side of the fjord, with a peculiar shape resembling a bottle. Caño Cristales, Colombia. It could be considered one of the most beautiful rivers in the world. Located in the Colombian Sierra Macarena, a meeting point of ecosystems from the Amazon, Orinoquia, and the Andes, it is also called the River of Five Colors for its vibrant shades of red, yellow, green, blue, and black. 
These colors are most visible between June and November when conditions are perfect for an algae called Macarania clavigera to bloom on the river rocks. Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, Philippines. This protected area, situated on the island of Palawan, houses one of the world's longest underground rivers. The river makes its way to the sea through an intricate series of limestone caves that are beautifully adorned with stalactites and stalagmites, which have been shaped over thousands of years by water erosion. The cave that houses the underground river is known as the Mountain Cathedral, named so because the stalactites and stalagmites within the cave give the impression of being inside of a Gothic cathedral. Moraine Lake, Canada Situated in Banff National Park in Alberta, Canada, this glacial lake is renowned for its stunning blue color and surrounding mountainous landscape. It sits at a high elevation, covers a significant expanse of land, and is nestled within the Valley of the Ten Peaks, a mountain range that is part of the Canadian Rockies. There are several hiking trails around the lake, varying in difficulty levels and canoeing and photography are also popular activities here. French Polynesia They epitomize a tropical paradise with their 118 islands grouped into five archipelagos located in the southern Pacific Ocean. The Society Islands, the Tuamotus, the Marquesas, the Australs, and the Gambier. Papieti, the capital of French Polynesia, is located on the island of Tahiti, which is the largest and most populated island in the region, featuring volcanic mountains, waterfalls, and black sand beaches. Bora Bora is the most famous island in French Polynesia, known for its idyllic appearance and crystal clear waters. Near Tahiti is Morea, with its high mountains and dense tropical forests, a great spot if you're looking for a more serene experience. It has a heart-like shape and is surrounded by a coral reef, creating a lagoon of crystal clear waters, perfect for snorkeling and diving. Phang Nha Bay, Thailand. This bay features numerous karst formations of various shapes covered in vegetation. It is one of the most touristic areas in the country with many travelers coming from the island of Phuket. In this area, there is a small fishing community called Sea Gypsy Village, or Go Panye, which lives in houses built on stilts over the water. Similar to Vietnamese floating villages, it's an example of how locals adapt to the environment and are capable of developing infrastructures to live and thrive, including a floating soccer field. Vinicunca, or Rainbow Mountain, Peru. This mountain is a geological wonder, located in the Andes Range, in the Cusco region, southeast of the city of the same name. The colorful stripes, reminiscent of a rainbow, are caused by a combination of different minerals deposited in the mountain's layers over millions of years. Vinicunca has been considered a sacred site by local communities since pre-Incan times, who believe it is protected by Apu, a mountain spirit that inhabits the area. Maldives This country, located in the Indian Ocean, southwest of Sri Lanka and India, is made up of around 1,192 coral islands, grouped into 26 atolls. Of these islands, about 200 are inhabited, and over 100 boast luxurious resorts. In addition to the beautiful landscapes, the Maldives has one of the best climates in the world. It is also a great place for snorkeling and diving. Holding the distinction of being the lowest country in the world in terms of average ground level, the Maldives boasts a culture that is a rich tapestry woven from influences from India, Sri Lanka, Africa, and Arabia. Ho Rainforest, United States Within Olympic National Park in the state of Washington, you will find a lush, temperate rainforest. 
Its wet climate, characterized by abundant rainfall, supports a wealth of vegetation, including mosses, ferns, and towering trees, such as Sitka spruces, Engelmann spruces, and western red cedars. Due to its remote location and dense vegetation, the area is considered one of the quietest places in the United States. In fact, years ago, acoustic ecologist Gordon Hempton dubbed this forest as the quietest place in America, which has drawn visitors eager to experience its tranquility and seclusion. Mount Bromo, Indonesia. While it stands relatively low compared to other mountains in Java, this volcano is among the country's most iconic and serves as a stunning subject for photographs. Its caldera is known as the Sea of Sand, which is a desert of volcanic sand surrounding the volcano. The name Bromo is derived from Brahma, the Hindu god of creation. The local population, the Tengareze, are predominantly Hindu and regard the mountain as a sacred place. Hubbard Glacier, United States Located in Alaska, the Hubbard Glacier is one of the largest glaciers in North America. The mesmerizing colors and colossal size leave a lasting impression, serving as a powerful testament to the force of Mother Nature. Usually visited by boat, one can get close to the glacier walls and hear the creaking sounds or watch massive chunks of ice forcefully fall into the water, creating small waves that can be felt on the boat. Yellowstone National Park, United States it stands as one of the most renowned and frequented national parks globally, enveloping a vast expanse of land that stretches across the states of Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho. The park is renowned for its geothermal activity, which is evident in the plethora of geysers, hot springs, mud pots, and other geothermal formations. The world's tallest active geyser, known as Steamboat, is located in Yellowstone and it can erupt to staggering heights of about 300 feet or 91 meters. Moreover, the park sits atop an active supervolcano known as the Yellowstone Caldera. The last massive eruption occurred about 640,000 years ago, but the ongoing geothermal activity serves as a reminder of the geological energy lying beneath the surface. The park is home to over a thousand species of plants and around 60 species of mammals, including grizzly bears, elk, and gray wolves. Of all the species residing in the park, the American bison is the easiest to spot, often seen grazing peacefully. Lake Titicaca, Bolivia and Peru. It is the highest navigable lake in the world straddling the border between Bolivia and Peru. It holds a sacred place in Inca mythology, as it is believed to be where the god Viracocha created the sun, moon, and stars. It is also considered to be the birthplace of the founders of the Inca Empire, Manco Capac and Mama Okyo. One of the unique features of Lake Titicaca is the artificial floating islands of the Uros, constructed from Totora, an aquatic plant that grows in the lake. The Uros, an indigenous people of the region, have been living on these islands for centuries. Abraham Lake, Canada This artificial lake, created in 1972 as a result of the construction of the Bighorn Dam, can be found in Alberta, within the Canadian Rocky Mountains. The lake receives water from various rivers and streams that flow from nearby glaciers, including the North Saskatchewan River and the Klein River. What makes Abraham Lake truly interesting and unique are the frozen bubbles that form beneath its surface during the winter season. These are actually pockets of methane gas trapped in the ice as the lake freezes. The methane originates from the decomposition of organic matter at the bottom of the lake by bacteria, which release methane as a byproduct. As the methane bubbles rise towards the lake's surface and encounter the ice, they become trapped within it. Pinagbuyutan Island, Philippines This island, located in the province of Palawan, has a unique shape 
surrounded by crystal clear shallow waters and coral reefs. If you are island hopping, this is one of the calmest islands you will find. It is not permanently inhabited, but local fishermen's boats can often be found on its shores during the day. These fishermen sometimes offer transportation services to travelers wanting to explore the island and its surroundings. On the small beach, where sometimes locals sell coconuts, there are palm trees. One should exercise caution, as several dozen people die each year from falling coconuts. Uluru, Australia also known as Ayers Rock. It is a massive sandstone monolith located in central Australia. It has a unique appearance and color that change as the sun rises and sets, transitioning through shades of red, orange, and purple. It is a sacred place for the Anangu Aboriginal people who have lived in the region for thousands of years. For them, Uluru holds significant spiritual and cultural importance. Vatnahokal Glacier, Iceland Situated within the expansive Vatnahokal National Park, the largest national park in Europe encompassing 10% of the country, lies this destination that captivates visitors with its breathtaking allure. Vatnahokal sits atop several active volcanoes. If they erupt, they can quickly melt the ice creating glacial floods called Hokelhaups, which can be very dangerous. There are ice caves within Vatnahokal that are natural wonders themselves. They formed due to the melting of glacial water and interaction with underground currents, creating tunnels and caverns. The ice in these caves can vary in color from bright blue to translucent white, creating an ethereal and rare environment. They are not permanent, constantly changing due to the movement of the glacier and seasonal melting. Consequently, each season they may have a different appearance and structure. Ban Gyok Waterfalls, Vietnam and China These waterfalls consist of two main parts that form a series of terraces falling at different levels, flowing from the Quai Son River on the border between Vietnam and China. They are especially beautiful during the rainy season, when the water flow is more abundant. The surrounding area features lush vegetation and rich biodiversity, making it an excellent place to explore and enjoy nature. Although they are located on the border between two countries, there is no physical barrier dividing the waterfall, allowing visitors to appreciate the views from both sides. Verdun Gorge, France. It is a canyon carved over time by the Verdun River, considered one of the most beautiful canyons in Europe. One of its most striking features is the turquoise color of its waters, contrasting with the limestone rocky walls. Additionally, the Verdun River is an excellent place for water sports such as kayaking, rafting, and fishing. During the warmer months, you can also enjoy a swim in its clean waters. Isle of Skye, United Kingdom As the largest and most well-known of the islands in the Inner Hebrides archipelago, this island is a notable part of Scotland. It has a beautiful landscape of rugged mountains, cliffs, and sandy beaches, but its most distinctive feature is the range of mountains known as the Cwilleen, which is divided into the Black Cwilleen and the Red Cwilleen. Another point of interest on the island is the Old Man of Storr, a peculiar and elongated rock formation. According to legend, Old Man Storr was a giant whose thumb remained above the ground when he was buried. Mount Kilimanjaro, Tanzania Standing as the highest mountain in Africa, this peak boasts a characteristic white top due to its glaciers. Remnants of the last glaciation that occurred 12,000 years ago. It has three inactive volcano cones, Shira, Mawenzi, and Kibo, with the latter being the tallest and the youngest. The highest peak of Kibo is called Uhuru, which means freedom in Swahili. Visitors climbing the mountain can experience five distinct ecological zones, cultivated land, rainforest, moorland, 
alpine desert, and ice fields. Gobi Desert, Mongolia and China Ranked as the fifth largest desert globally and the second largest desert in Asia, this expansive arid region commands a significant presence. You might think that the Gobi Desert is just a sea of sand dunes, but only about 5% of the desert is covered by them. The rest includes gravel plains, rocky mountains, and semi-desert steppes. Its climate is extreme, with very cold winters and very hot summers. It can range from minus 40 degrees Fahrenheit in winter to 122 degrees Fahrenheit in summer. Additionally, it is very dry receiving very little precipitation throughout the year. The Gobi Desert has great historical significance as it was part of the Silk Road, a network of trade routes that connected Asia, Europe, and Africa in ancient times. A Renal Volcano National Park, Costa Rica. This park is especially known for the Arenal Volcano, with a conical shape and covered in vegetation, making it one of the most recognizable symbols of the country. Its last major eruption was in 1968, devastating three nearby villages. Since then, there has been regular activity in the volcano, including gas emissions and lava flows, though its activity has decreased in recent years. Some animals that inhabit the area include howler monkeys, sloths, coatis, jaguars, toucans, and quetzals. Due to the volcanic activity in the park, there are hot springs rich in minerals, and several resorts and spas have been established. Glacier National Park, United States It is located in the Rocky Mountains Range and boasts over 130 lakes, with Lake McDonald and Lake St. Mary being the largest. Situated in the state of Montana, close to the border with Canada, it encompasses mountains, lakes, glaciers, and forests, and is part of the crown of the continent ecosystem. Some of the animals that can be found in the park include grizzly bears, wolves, moose, mountain goats, and Rocky Mountain sheep. It is also home to several bird species, including bald eagles and peregrine falcons. Together with Canada's Waterton Lakes National Park, it forms the world's first international peace park, established in 1932 a designation symbolizing cooperation and friendship between the United States and Canada. Red Beaches of Western Australia These beaches can be found along the coastline in the Kimberley region. One of these beaches is James Price Point, an area with cliffs. The red sand is caused by the erosion of rocks, which contain high concentrations of minerals such as iron oxide. Due to their mineral composition, these beaches can be very hot to the touch. Therefore, it is recommended that visitors wear suitable footwear when walking on them. Marble Caves, Chile A set of caves and tunnels carved into marble rock can be found in Patagonia's General Carrera Lake. What makes them unique is their coloration, ranging from white to deep blue, and the unusual patterns created by water erosion. Buwindi Impenetrable National Park, Uganda this is one of the best places in the world to observe wild gorillas in their natural habitat. The reserve has a dense rainforest, which has earned it the nickname Impenetrable. To observe these gorilla families, undertaking mountain hikes that reach high altitudes becomes necessary. The species they belong to is Gorilla Berengue Berengue, known as the Mountain Gorilla. It is estimated that there are currently around 1,000 individuals of this species, although their population is experiencing growth. Despite it being much stronger than an average human, mountain gorillas tend to be quite shy. It is curious to know that they can get scared by insects or reptiles, and like humans, they prefer to avoid rain. Pamukkale, Turkey from these white limestone terraces, hot springs emanate, with temperatures ranging from 95 to 212 degrees Fahrenheit, rich in minerals such as calcium, magnesium, and bicarbonate. Pamukkale has been known since ancient times for its therapeutic properties, and it is believed that its waters help in the treatment of various diseases, especially those of the circulatory system and the skin. 
To protect the site from erosion, Turkish authorities ask visitors to walk barefoot on the travertines to reduce the wear on the terraces, and access to some areas has been limited to allow the natural formations to recover. Khao Sok National Park and Chaolan Lake, Thailand. This lake was artificially created in 1982 with the construction of the Racha Prapha Dam. It also has rock formations similar to those of the Phang Nya Bay, but the water has a distinct color, a strong bluish green. Chao Lan is located in Khao Sok National Park, the largest rainforest in southern Thailand, where the Asian elephant, tiger, banteng, and sambar deer inhabit. Guilin, China Guilin means Forest of Sweet Osmanthus in Chinese and takes its name from the numerous sweet osmanthus trees growing in the area. It features striking karst mountains and the Li River running through the city, creating a distinctively peculiar landscape that has been a source of inspiration for Chinese artists and poets for centuries. Many traditional Chinese paintings of mountainous landscapes and rivers have been inspired by the beauty of Guilin. Kawa Ihen, Indonesia. The crater of this volcano in East Java contains the world's largest acidic lake. It is an intense turquoise color and is highly acidic, with a pH of about 0.5. Local miners extract sulfur from deposits around the lake, a dangerous and exhausting task due to the extreme conditions and toxic gases. What makes this volcano unique is a phenomenon known as blue flames, which occur when sulfuric gases come into contact with air and ignite, creating electric blue flames that are visible during the night. Because of the toxic gases and extreme conditions in the crater, it is crucial to take safety precautions when visiting Ihen Volcano. Visitors are advised to wear gas masks and follow the instructions of local guides. Crater Lake, United States. One of the deepest and cleanest bodies of water in North America, this lake boasts an intense blue color due to the purity and depth of its waters. It formed around 7,700 years ago when Mount Mazama volcano collapsed after a massive eruption. The resulting crater, known as Caldera of Mazama, filled with rainwater and melted snow over the centuries, creating the lake we see today. It is the deepest lake in the United States and the ninth deepest in the world. The small volcanic island in the western part of the lake is Wizard Island, named for its shape, which is similar to a wizard's hat when viewed from certain angles. Lake Bleth, Slovenia. This is an alpine lake near the border with Austria with a small island in the center on which stands the Church of the Assumption, a 15th century church located where there used to be a pagan temple. You can reach the island on a pletna, which is a traditional Slovenian wooden boat propelled by a rower. This lake is of glacial origin and is surrounded by forests and mountains, including Mount Stoll, which is part of the Julian Alps. Another highlight is Blef Castle, a medieval castle located on a cliff above the lake. Malakai, Hawaii. Nicknamed the Friendly Island for the hospitality of its inhabitants and its unhurried lifestyle, it is the fifth largest island in the Hawaiian archipelago. It has a relatively small population and has largely remained undeveloped, allowing it to retain its Hawaiian charm and authenticity. But in addition to its culture, it is notable for its striking geography with vegetation-covered cliffs and jungles. The north coast of the island has the world's highest sea cliffs, which are part of Kalaupapa National Historic Park. Atacama Desert, Chile This desert is one of the driest places in the world. It has been recorded that it has not rained for decades or even centuries. This dryness is partly due to the Humboldt Current, an oceanic phenomenon that prevents clouds from releasing moisture in the region. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Atacama Desert is its lunar landscape. Here you will find the Valley of the Moon, 
an area with rock formations and sand dunes that are reminiscent of the surface of the moon with a surreal landscape. Additionally, it stands out for its clear night skies, making it an ideal place for astronomical observation. Svinafellshokl Glacier, Iceland This is one of the many glaciers that extend from the gigantic Vatnahokl. The landscape around Svinafellshokl features deep blue ice formations with crevices and ridges, surrounded by snow-capped mountains and black lava fields, creating a striking contrast of colors. Its alien-like appearance makes it a perfect spot to represent worlds of distant planets. In fact, part of the movie Interstellar was filmed here. Hokland Beach, Norway Considered one of the most beautiful beaches in the Lofoten Islands, this stunning shoreline is embraced by majestic mountains and verdant hills while crystal-clear ocean waters add to its allure. Its sand is of a pure white color, giving it a paradisiacal appearance and making the place even more astonishing due to its location within the Arctic Circle. During the summer months, with the midnight sun, when the sun does not fully set, there is daylight for 24 hours, and in winter, you can see the northern lights. Zhangye Danjia National Geological Park, China With its incredible colorful rocks showcasing vivid and varied hues, the park stands out uniquely in the world. The colors are a result of the mixture of different minerals and sediments that have accumulated over time. These colors can change throughout the day due to the position of the sun and the way light reflects on the surfaces. At sunrise and sunset, they can be more intense and vibrant. Pink Lake or Lake Retba, Senegal. This lake has a characteristic pink color due to a type of microorganism called Dunialiella salina, which lives in the water and produces a red pigment when in high salinity conditions. In some areas, it can reach up to 40% salt concentration, which makes it very easy to float in the water, similar to what happens in the Dead Sea. However, it's not always pink as its color varies depending on the amount of salt and the position of the sun. At certain times, especially during sunset, it can appear more pinkish, while at other times it may have a more brownish hue. Strokor, Iceland Erupting at regular intervals and propelling hot water to remarkable heights, this geyser can be found in the geothermal region of Haukadalur, part of Iceland's Golden Circle. It is believed to have formed during an earthquake in the 18th century after having been inactive for some time. It later went through various periods of activity and inactivity. In the 1960s, a project was undertaken to unblock the geyser's conduit, resulting in an increase in activity and more frequent eruptions today. Mount Fuji, Japan it is Japan's tallest mountain and volcano, located southwest of Tokyo. It is considered a Japanese cultural symbol and is active, although its last eruption occurred in the 18th century. It is characterized by its nearly symmetrical shape and snow-capped summit. Reaching the summit is a significant achievement, seen by some as a spiritual experience. The official climbing period is relatively short, from early July to early September, when the weather conditions are more favorable. An interesting fact about Mount Fuji is the presence of the five Fuji lakes, which are five lakes situated around the base of the mountain. Tortuguero National Park, Costa Rica Serving as a protected area on the Caribbean coast of Costa Rica, this park is an important nesting site for several species of sea turtles, which is reflected in its name. Four species of sea turtles nest in the park, the green turtle, the hawksbill turtle, the leatherback turtle, and the loggerhead turtle. The nesting season varies by species, but generally occurs between the months of March and October. In addition to beaches, there are diverse ecosystems, such as swamps, rainforests, and lagoons. Over 400 species of birds have been recorded, including toucans, parrots, and herons. It is also home to numerous mammals, such as monkeys, sloths, jaguars, and manatees. 
The most common way to explore the park is through boat tours or canoe rides along the numerous canals and rivers that wind through the jungle. A much less visited and less human-affected Costa Rican National Park is Corcovado, although it is somewhat isolated and somewhat difficult to reach. Giant's Causeway, Northern Ireland. Located on the coast of Antrim, this unique geological formation consists of approximately 40,000 interlocking basalt columns that extend into the sea as if it were a stone causeway. About 60 million years ago, volcanic activity in the region caused lava to flow into the sea. Upon quickly cooling when it came into contact with the water, the lava solidified and contracted, forming these hexagonal basalt columns. Local legend has it that the Irish giant Fionn Mac Cumhail built the causeway to cross the sea to Scotland and fight against his rival, the Scottish giant Benin Donner. Cape of Good Hope, South Africa The Portuguese explorer Bartolomeu Dias was the first European to reach this cape in 1488. He initially named it Cabo das Tormentas due to the challenging weather conditions and maritime conditions he encountered. However, King John II of Portugal changed the name to Cape of Good Hope because its discovery opened up a new route to India and Asia, allowing direct trade from Europe, bypassing the long and perilous route through the Mediterranean and Middle East. The Cape of Good Hope is part of the Table Mountain National Park, a large protected area from Table Mountain in Cape Town to the southernmost tip of the Cape Peninsula. Tornado Alley, United States I have saved for last the region of the planet where the most tornadoes occur, stunning natural wonders, but dangerous and capable of causing severe material damage. The place in the world where they are strongest is Tornado Alley, a region in the central United States and part of Canada. Outside of here and North America in general, large tornadoes are extremely rare. These are one of the most striking phenomena in nature. In fact, there are people who chase them, tornado chasers. Because they occupy a relatively small area, they can be avoided and usually do not cause fatalities if distance is maintained and there is an escape route without being in the direction the tornado is heading. I hope you enjoyed this wonderful journey around the planet. See you on the next trip. Until then, see you soon.